I quit for three months, six months, a year. I went, even went two years. And we drink until something bad happens that we can't deal with. We drink until we get in a fight with our spouse or whatever. And I went two years and nothing bad happened. But as soon as something happened that I didn't have the skills to deal with, that I started self-medicating with alcohol, the game was over. Game. I don't know how in the hell I went two years without drinking. And you, you're talking about two weeks, a month here and there. Do you, what's it going to take for you to like go to your doctor and say, I need to like talk with some people who know what the hell they're talking well, about and to help I've, me. I've reached out for help and I did go to a 30 day program, uh, in 2000, the end of 2019. Wow. And that's then, great. Uh, that's great. And did you work it at, once you got out? Did you continue to work? Cause you, well, okay. I, I, I had a, I had, um, a, 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 um, tragedy happened in the family. I, my brother and my dad passed away. That's right. Like within, the, within a week. Within a week, right? Within, uh, yeah. Well, one died on a Tuesday. That my dad died on a Wednesday. That's so, right. And and do and um, I, like I told you back then when you and I spoke, I don't know how in the hell one deals with that. You need some well, superpowers to deal with that. I but, didn't. You know, I came. I came home while you know pumped up, positive, ready to go with all this information that I've gathered in rehab, and then. Um, two days after I was home, um, my, my 36 year old brother was uh, diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer and died, uh, less than three months later. My dad died. Yeah, you'll get cancer from alcohol dirt. too. Alcohol is one of the number one causes for cancer. Right. So that, that will, you know, be it liver or, or stomach cancer, esophageal, uh, cancer. Right. It will, it will call you, you are, you are committing suicide with, on the installment, you know, plan. That's what you're doing right, right now. So you went for right. 30 days. How long when mm -hmm. you got out? When you got out of that uh, treatment facility, how long before you started drinking? Be honest. Um, so it had to be been January 28th. My brother died. January 29th, my dad died. So I was drunk the night my dad died. I know that. I remember mm -hmm. uh, sleeping in my truck when I got the, the message. And... Wow. I just so you were it. you were drunk a, prior to him get you didn't get drunk because your dad or brother died you were drunk prior to the death. Yes, it was just it was a whole lot of uh, pressure and a whole lot of uh, stuff that I you know that we had to endure and we had to help them uh, through the treatment process and it was just a nightmare and so I used that throughout last year as a as a reason to mm -hmm. drink. You know, we'll find, you know, you're, yeah, like I said, man, you're over here trying to get healthy. You're trying to get, you're trying to control this alcoholism and your, but your, your addictions in the corner doing freaking push ups and pull ups, and then we'll kick your ass if you do not work out too. So when you get out of treatment, that's just a start, man. That's just, the, they give you the foundations and the tools and you, and you detox, but you have to go to some kind of uh did you go to AA or or some kind of addiction therapy or rational recovery did you did you work any kind of steps some kind when of I got home yeah when you go ahead when I got home I, I went to a few meetings um and then once that happened in January um I just kind of I just fell back into the bottle and didn't didn't really even look up all year long and now yeah, something that stick. I, something that stick. We got, you got to do it again. You got to do it again. Something didn't stick. You're going to lose your wife. How old of a guy are you? Sound like were you 43? What are you? 50? I'm 40, 49. 49. So you're I said 50. So you're look, look at me. Tom May knows what they can hear an age. Uh, mm -hmm. you're, you dude. So if you continue like you're continuing. At 49, you have a good seven to 10 years left and you're going to die. Uh, but man, don't you deserve to have a better life? Remember how good you felt when you got out of, you know, your, when you yeah. detox and you got out of your system? Let's try that again. What can I do to help, man? I mean, what? Yeah, it, what was is nice. it? it was nice. It was well, nice. Well, you did, you did, you did, you recommended one thing that, that helped me, you know, here and there when I applied it, which was the online Zoom meetings. Um, you know, because a lot of a lot of meetings aren't available in my area right now because of the COVID, oh. and we're actually, we're snowed in down here for the last. Oh yeah. Week and by or, the way, we have a here. we have a Brian Biggerstud uh, on eight o'clock on uh, Sunday doing a sober talk Zoom. He hosts, and we're you know, look, it's it's a it's a it's a small crowd. It's so cool. It's intimate. Sometimes we have six people. Sometimes fifteen people. Uh, but we, we don't want to get it too big. But be sure to check that out. We post links on sober talks uh private uh private group so join the group right okay i'll do that i appreciate it yeah 
man. I, but, just, I, just, um, I just, can't, oh man, I worry about you, brother. I worry about you. So, uh, it's not, uh, the relationship is, is, it's, man, it's, it stinks. It really does. I hope I can get it back, but I'm not sure I can. Yeah, well, you're not going to get about drunk. Let me, let me give you a little tip here. That is not going to happen uh, while you are drunk and while you are continuing to use. All right, Jeremy? I, and it's, uh, yeah. it's, am I saying it right, is it Jeremy? Am I saying it right? Not Jeremy. Yeah, it's Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. you, you, you have to... Uh, you got one last Hail Mary to throw. You got... I think you're going to do one more Hail Mary and... Uh, you're 49. Your second wife is not happy. Does your second wife? She doesn't drink, right? She doesn't drink. No, not at all. You've been married no, for no, a year and never. two weeks. Never. Wow. Yes. Yeah. The well. 14th. Yeah. Look. All right. Well, uh, dude, I love you. I'm preaching to myself. I love you. I appreciate I, it. No, man, I've been there. I've done this. I, I know. <laughs> I know how tough it is. But guys, again, it sucks. That we're wired this way. It really does yeah. suck. But it's, it's not, a, but it's it's curable. If someone says, hey, you got stage four cancer, but guess what? We got a cure. What, wouldn't you go do it? Because you know. You oh, went, yeah. Yeah. You went, Absolutely. Yeah. You went 30 days without. You, when you, there was a point where you didn't even crave it, right? You didn't crave it. Yeah. But no, the I, habit, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. The habit. Yeah. yeah. Join the private group. Talk to Carl Martin. He'll tell you about the habit. He'll tell you about those brains and the way it's wired. I mean, go ahead and freaking join that uh you know and keep watching sober talk michael me him michael michael me country him so <laughs> that's what caddy calls me but man <laughs> th- look, th- we, look we are not a glum lot i don't i don't mean to make light of it but i am going to bust your chops if you're being a total dumbass and as your friend as someone that we've spoken before i'm telling you you are being a dumbass right now and you need to call, you got you got my phone number you need to text me after the show and we need to fix you all right I appreciate it, Tom. I'm I'm gonna do. Uh, I, this is really my last opportunity to stay married to this woman because she's wow. Uh, she's fed up. I put her through. And enough, half, and, half, and, and seventy percent of people watching her, their 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 spouse, their husband, their wife is either getting ready to divorce them or, or they're cheating on them and they're already gone because they didn't because the wife or the husband they love the booze more than they do their spouse and their family. So just right. a heads up, folks. I know. I know. Well, if you're if you're drunk, your spouse is already. She's got a plan B. He's got a oh, plan yeah, B. Yeah. So she's been working that plan B. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. By the way, she's talked to me. I'm not saying she's cheating on me. I'm just saying. No, I'm not saying know, she. I she am not she's saying she's cheating on me. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying she's uh she's not stupid. She's got her shit together, and you don't. So right. you, you gotta she fix it, brother. You gotta fix it. All right, bro. I'll talk with you soon, man. Appreciate you. Okay, Tom. Thank you. Have a good night.